Listen, it does not matter what you know. It matters what you can do. If you can't control your emotional states, you effectively know zero. Think about it. When you feel like crap, you speak crappy things. When you feel like crap, you make crappy decisions. But when you feel great, you speak great. When you feel great, you make a lot better decisions. That, at the end of the day, makes all your great concepts actually executable. Again, it does not matter what you know conceptually. It only matters what you can do. And last, before I have a nice little video for you here, listen very carefully. If you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, or even older, and you're having a little bit of a hard time, I want to tell you something very, very important. A lot of people might tell you in this life to be yourself. Let me be the first person to tell you being yourself is not good enough. You want to be your best self. But how would you be your best self without the very best tools? And how would you learn those very best tools without the very best people actually backing up your efforts? That doesn't even make sense. So in this life, if you want to have the best chance to shift the odds in your favor, get the very best people backing up your efforts. And it's not hard to know whether you're speaking to them. Anybody who really, truly, truly knows what they're doing would have no problem at all committing to a very specific graduation date. And that's exactly what I do. Again, Lance McKell, Refocus on Happiness. Hope you enjoyed the video. Speak to you soon. I saw you at an event. Uh, just great vibe. Heard you answer other people's questions that they had. Um, some similar to my own, some different. And I just really like the answers. I really like the energy. And I just felt like if I'm going to make a change, this is a person that's going to help me do it. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's definitely cool. your end. <laughs> that's the truth. So your vibe, your energy. And then of course, I mean, I listened to what you had to say about the program and determined it was right for me. But before knowing what it was really all about, I just felt like this was the person in my life at this time that would help me with what I needed. Yeah. No, that's that's awesome, actually, because <laughs> most people work with me just as far as they're concerned with a Facebook ad. <laughs> so, so they, you know, you 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 and I met in person uh, at an mm -hmm. event, that, you know, that I was part yep. of, and we had an opportunity to meet like that. So you didn't you didn't get the experience of me as a Facebook ad. <laughs> Correct. Me. Correct. I had no idea of who you were. So I mean, I guess for me, it was a unique situation. It's a lot easier to because I could if I had seen you on Facebook, I probably could have clicked past it. You know, but you know it's hard to advertise this kind of things gotcha. but it it kind of just the universe brought it to me you know i knew i was looking for something i didn't know what it was and it turned out it was this the, the, i didn't even know you had a program i was just like i would like to work with this guy i didn't know if you were a counselor i didn't know what you were but i just <laughs> saw you up on the little stage I love it. the way you answered the questions and and i and i mean there was a couple other people on the panel that I also thought were good. And then others that I was like, nah, I'm not so connected with them. And then, so I was like, let me just talk to you afterwards, quick, get your LinkedIn, get a business card, whatever. And then I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to follow up with this. I just want to make a change. And you know, if I, if I had talked to you and then determined on that first call that it wasn't what I wanted, fine. But that wasn't the case at all. You know, basically the, the tool, the 30 minute tool that I'm going to teach you is going to be two things. One, it is going to give you a practical, tangible way to literally reconnect your brain so your ability to get back to feeling better is going to be quicker than you ever imagined. And that's very practical because, I, you know, it's very common sensey. When you feel great, you do great. When you feel great, you speak differently to people. So one thing I tell people is the, the process that I teach um, will get to such a core that you'll communicate differently to people. So without going to specifics here, have you... In what ways have you noticed that your communications others has completely changed, not just from not just from how you feel, but specifically the tool itself, getting to the essence? Because a lot of the stuff out there, as you know, gives scripts. Oh, mm -hmm. say this, say that. This is what you know. Mm -hmm. But what I gave you was a tool to literally get you to that that essence, that core. So you're speaking from that core. So it's almost it's like the catalyst for if you're in a certain situation, what to say. When I told you that you and I would do an aspect that would focus on communication specifically, how have you noticed in a practical, tangible, repeatable way, your communications are different with people, whether it's with, with you know, um, work or whatever? A hundred percent, I'm listening more. And I know that's not me communicating out, but I a hundred percent listen to the person for Yes, I'm listening to what they're saying, but I'm listening more to like, they're saying this why. So like you said, for the core, okay, so if someone's coming at me and they're anxious or they're frustrated or there's some negative emotion, I, I'm not as quick to, how am I going to respond to this? How am I going to respond to this? I'm just kind of sitting there waiting, listening, feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, and then thinking and responding. So I'm much more in a, in a much more calm state because of 
the practice. So I've, I'm happy, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then someone comes at me for whatever reason and I'm better about responding to them, listening to them and being like, oh, this is really where they're coming from instead of just taking what they say and like taking it personal or having an expectation of them. Um, I'm more apt to understand what they're saying because I'm listening to them and truly listening to them. So that's that was one way that I've definitely improved. Let me do, so, so how about on this end though? Have, in what ways have you noticed that, okay, after you're done listening, you're able to be more conscious, calm, and deliberate. But after you're done listening, and you, then it's your turn to speak, how have you noticed that your, your, the way you speak now versus how it would have been before is much more from a position of, I mean, I want to say the word power because yeah. you see powerful, empowering meaning that you're not trying to control people because I know that's the case. I know that's what we work through, but more like, more like you know what? I'm okay right. today. I'm, I'm, I'm not so fearful about what you're going to say or not say. How have you noticed in a practical way when you do commute, when you actually are done listening yeah. and communicate, your words are more powerful because they're coming from a position of internal strength. Where like, you know what? I know I'm going to be good either way, so I'm not yeah. so concerned about what the response is going to be. How have you noticed in a practical way when you do communicate, your words are different? I mean, I guess I start in a more positive manner when I do respond. So it's not like I'm going to say yes to everything because there are things that people say that I either disagree with or I don't want. But I'm more apt to go, okay, well, I hear what you're saying and, and then either give my opinion different, it could be different, or the same, but I'm more apt to say yes or begin with. And then the person feels, okay, I'm being heard, I'm being understood. And then either we could still disagree on whatever point it might be, but it's not an argument. It's just a discussion. So things don't tend to get as height, like emotions don't t tend to get as heightened because I'm not responding and I'm not saying, well, no, but da 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 da. I'm just kind of saying, well, all right, I see your opinion and in a more calm manner. Um, and then it becomes, like I said, a discussion versus that uh, for sure just because I'm in that happy, calm state to begin with. So my responses have been a lot more calm and, you know, they don't really, I, in the past I might have set off the person even more if they, if, if they weren't necessarily coming from a great place, I, I might have made it worse. <laughs> so it kind of, I either keep it even keel or we kind of have a better discussion. And it, people have noticed me acting differently. Like they will in, people that I'm very close to uh, will encourage me like, Hey, you're going to go for your run. You're going to go do, I, cause sometimes I do it on the trampoline. You're going to go on the trampoline. You're going to, you know, and because, because they've seen me respond better and act better and be more conscious of my emotional state, they were encouraging me to do this uh, on other people. I've even like want to come with me. I mean, it's kind of, it's my own thing. So I don't bring them along, but they're like, what are you doing? What are you <laughs> Right. Yeah, so I've gotten those kind of um, inquiries and I'm like, well, you can't come. I can't look at you. I want you know, I got to focus, but um, right. if you ever want to <laughs> do something, go out and do a run. I, I didn't just kind of keep it general, but right. Um, you know, I'm just like, think of yourself in a positive way. Listen to music, you know? Um, but, um, and then, yeah, I mean, I think in more tangible ways, I think like, for example, um, in the past I would be messaging with someone and they, a, a message would come across that was uh, like, almost like a hook to get me hooked in. They might not be intentionally doing that, but it's one of those that I, that would push my buttons or a statement they would say in the past would push my buttons. And then now it's like, I'm very aware of that. And I'll either ignore it to appear. So the negative energy or the like hook that would have gotten me hooked in and then push my buttons and it would become a, a back and forth kind of thing. I've been able to dissipate that energy because I'm in a really good state and that transfers over into the way that I respond. And then the kind of what would have been some sort of friction between myself and the other person really doesn't exist. And the, and the percentage of time that there is friction between me and, and my close um, people is much, much less than in the past. Um, there's a lot of things that I, guess would have reacted to you in the past that I'm realizing now I'm like is that really important and I always had it in my head that um you know you pick your battles but I didn't realize how many battles I was battling that I really didn't need to even though I <laughs> thought I was conscious of it you know I'm like oh I don't I pick my battles and then I go wait a minute I really wow there's a lot more things that I really don't need to care about 
it was always, well, you know, he's got to fix this. He's got to fix that. Every time he would, you know, say something to me that was not even bad, like just a little critique or, hey, maybe you should check your energy, whatever. I would always go, well, look at your energy. That was kind of like how my mindset was, uh, you know, or how, you know, don't tell me to go to counselor. We need to go or you need to go. It was always like a blame thing. And, and part of that's denial because you don't want to admit that you have faults and things like that. Um, and part of that was like, I'm sure there's some truth to us both having issues obviously you were people mm -hmm. so then once I started doing this I go okay well I'm admitting that I have some faults and I'm working on myself just like I was previously but it's actually working so it was it was you know the my husband wasn't there that nobody else in my life was there and I was just kind of I changed my mindset from the whole like well you have a problem too you this you that to just me and the more I improve myself the more I actually see him communicating even better. And he might not be aware that, you know, he might even be communicating the same way or just showing up better. But it's it's definitely, uh, I feel like we, we've done the counselor thing in the past with the both of us there. And it is great to some extent, but then it kind of becomes an argument with someone just, de you're defending yourself and then uh, we haven't made progress. It's just, look at all the things you did wrong in that meeting. Look at all the things you did wrong in that meeting. I'm like, oh, I don't really get anywhere. Um, and but with this, it was more <laughs> right. of like, I mean, it's true. Um, and believe me, I mean, we've tried, you know, different scenarios and so on and so forth. Um, and this, I mean, I guess I just have shown up as a better person, uh, for lack of a better term, maybe like a better emotionally stable, more emotionally stable is that a better way to say it. And being that I'm stable, it brings out the stability in him and my partner and then from there the communication tends to be more from a place of power versus us being in our in our insecure selves because when we show up insecure with each other that's when we have problems mm -hmm. and the more you know and I would be I, I guess in the past I might be more concerned about like I don't want to be too powerful or I don't want to you know or I, or I would be powerful and we come across as aggressive where now it's I'm in my power you're in your power we're both standing in our power but we're not being powerful against each other we're just kind of communicating from a good place a good emotional state and a good you know mental state um, so yeah I, I, I definitely was of the mindset before of like well it's you or it's we need to go or all this and it's this is kind of brought to light that well okay I needed to adjust things I wasn't that bad, but what I did need to adjust, I'm adjusting and I will continue to do so. It's not just done yeah. at this point, but the more I continue this and I stay on this, you know, this like higher level, I guess, um, then it just brings him. He just comes along with me because he's right next to me up on this higher level. So, um, you know, it's not even that I led him there. It just kind of occurred because you're showing up better, the people in your life are going to show up better. It was like the missing piece, because I'm like, I have all this knowledge, I'm, I'm smart, but why am I not changing? Like, why do I still feel this way? Or why am I still getting in that argument? And this is why. Like, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to feel good, but I didn't know how to get there. And I would always try to control situations or people. I'm not a control freak like what, like that, but I would try to like, you know, it would always be like, I have to be in this situation. I have to be with this person. It has to be this way. And I would, it would, and if it wasn't that way, then I wouldn't feel good. And mm -hmm. so I was very dependent upon those things. And, and that wasn't me being a bad person and trying to control people, but it was me looking to find a way to feel good. And I, like I said, I had the background. I knew what I, I knew the theory and then trying to put it in practice on my own was I guess I was trying to control things, people, events, uh, you know, and then now instead of having to do that, it like there's one of the quotes that you use, but it's more of like whatever's, whatever happens, happens, but it's like I still feel good. So I guess there was there was a quote about oneness. Uh, you would probably know it better than yeah, I am, but one now it's like. Welcomes. Exactly. So yeah. instead of, so that was what I would do in the past was try to control these outcomes and Sometimes I was successful, but I mean, ultimately, if I, 
I was not because it's not me that controls any of this. So that was the thing that I think I, one of the things that I think re I really changed about the way I thought about it. Uh, you know, okay, well, let's let this happen or let's let this event happen, however it's going to happen. And I'm going to have a good time whether it goes A, B, or C. You know, whatever happens is going to happen, but I'm going to feel good regardless of, of how the, the night plays out or how the day plays out or the event plays out. Uh, so that was definitely a big thing for me. I would recommend it to anybody, really. It's awesome. So, I mean, I mean, I like your intensity. I like your swearing. I like it gets me, it gets fired up. I like that. So that's like, you know, like the professional part and the emails and the connections, of course, all that was good. And then on top of it, just like the energy you brought to each, each session was sweet. It was sweet. It was awesome. Cold.